This woman, Janice, writes, My husband was just walking the dogs and was assaulted by some teenagers throwing eggs at him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Has this happened to anyone else in the neighborhood? Three white kids, one with red hair in a gray van about 7.45 p.m. Now, I am not on the kid's side. I fucking hate shitty little white kid teenagers like this. But I also don't like the adults on this app. So I'm torn who to root for. I think it's just a draw. I mean, that's quite bold to throw eggs before dark. The van makes me think they're not rich. It makes me think they're more like punk, punkish kind of kids. The kind of kids that maybe I would have hung out with in high school, except my friends were kind punk rockers. They just wanted to be in bands or do, you know, artistic graffiti. But they didn't, they didn't throw things at people. I remember one time my friend and I were trick-or-treating way past the age when you should be probably. I think we were 14. She and I were just, I don't know why we were just on our own that night. And she brought eggs with her. And I said, what are we going to do with raw eggs? She's like, I don't know, throw them. Like, our, if we're too old to trick or treat in a way, shouldn't we get up to some trouble? But both of us didn't have it in our heart to throw eggs at someone's house. Seemed mean, but also just, what if someone saw us and we got in trouble? Then what would be... What would have been the point? Like, we didn't get anything out of doing that, you know? You get in trouble for sneaking out and hanging out with, you know, your friends and having fun or smoking a cigarette or, you know, something. At least you're like, well, I enjoyed having fun with my friends or smoking a cigarette. To get in trouble, I loved throwing that egg. We just, that wasn't something that excited us. So we took the eggs and we just threw them down the street, watched them break. We're like, whew, pretty badass. <laughs> anyway, so I really, like, cannot relate to being such bad kids. And you know, people like this, they, they, it's impossible to predict what they'll grow up to be. Boys like this, they could end up, uh, you know, being lawyers or working on Wall Street or something. You know, have respectable jobs, make some money. They may even kind of be decent people. They go have a family of their own reminisce about the times they acted like sociopaths and then somehow magically grew out of it. That always shocks me, but it does happen. 